Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about large numbers in details. Now length is measured in millimeters, centimeters, meters and kilometers. Here, 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, which is equal to 1000 millimeters. Also, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Now, weight is measured in grams and kilograms. Here, 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. Also, the capacity is measured in liters and milliliters. Now, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Now, let us see one example. Here, weight of one box is given as 4 kilograms 500 grams, which is equal to, now to change, kilograms into grams, we multiply it with 1000. So it will be 4000 grams plus 500 grams, which is equal to 4500 grams. Now it is given that van can carry 800 kilograms which can be changed into grams by multiplying this with 1000. So it will be 8 lakh grams in the Indian system of numeration. Now we have to find the number of boxes a van can carry. Now, number of boxes a van can carry is equal to total weight which a van can carry over weight of one box. Now this is the total weight which a van can carry and this is the weight of one box. So putting these values here, this will be equal to 8 lakh over 4500 which on solving is equal to 177.77. Now we cannot put 177.77 boxes in a van Therefore, a van can carry 177 boxes. Now let us discuss estimation. In this, first of all we will learn estimating to the nearest tens by rounding off. Here, Consider a number 56. Now here 5 is at the tens place and 6 is at the ones place. And we have to round off this number to the nearest tens. For this we will consider the digit on the right to the digit at the tens place. And that digit is the digit at the ones place, which is 6. Now here, two pieces arise. First is, if the digit at ones place is less than or equal to 5, then 
The digit at 10 space will remain as it is and the digit at 1's place will be changed to 0. But in the second case, if the digit at 1's place is greater than 5, then in this case the digit at 10's place is increased by 1 and the digit at 1's place will be changed to 0. Now for 56 6 is the digit at the 1's place and 6 is greater than 5. Therefore, the digit at the 10's place, which is 5, will be increased by 1. So it will become 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. And the digit at 1's place, that is 6, will be changed to 0. So on rounding off 56 to nearest tens, we get 60. Now consider one more number, 63. And we have to round off this number to the nearest tens. Here, we will again consider the digit on the right to the digit at the tens place, which is the digit at the ones place. And that is 3, but 3 is less than 5. So in this case, the digit at the tens place, which is 6, will remain as it is, and the digit at the 1's place, which is 3, will be changed to 0. Therefore, on rounding of 63 to the nearest 10's, we get 60. Now let us learn estimating to the nearest 100's by rounding off. Here, consider a number 836. Now, we have to round off this number to the nearest hundreds. Here, this digit is at the hundreds place, this at the tens place, and this at the ones place. Now here, we will consider the digit on the right to the digit at the hundreds place. And this digit is 3. So the digit at the tens place, that is 3, is less than 5. So here, the digit at the hundreds place, which is 8, will remain as it is. The digit at the tens place, which is 3, will be changed to 0. And the digit at the ones place will be also changed to 0. Therefore, on rounding of 836, to the nearest hundreds, we get 800. Now let us learn estimating to the nearest thousands by rounding off. Here, consider a number 65,924. Now here, we have to round off this number to the nearest thousands and here this number is at 10,000's place, this number is at 1,000's place, this at 100's place, this at the 10's place, and this at the 1's place. 
Now for rounding off this number to the nearest thousands, we will consider the digit which is on the right to the digit at the thousands place. And that is the digit 9 which is at the hundreds place. And here 9 is greater than 5. So in this case, the digit at the ten thousands place will remain as it is. The digit at the thousands place will be increased by 1. So it will be 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. The digit at the hundreds place, which is 9, will be changed to 0. The digit at the tens place, which is 2, will be also changed to 0. And the digit at the ones place, which is 4, will be also changed to 0. Therefore, on rounding off 65,924 to nearest thousands, we get 66,000. Now let us learn how to estimate sum or difference. Let us take the first example. In this, we have to find the estimated sum of 2654 and 5393 to its nearest thousands. For this, we will round off these numbers to the nearest thousands. So we will start with the solution here on rounding off 2654 to the nearest thousands we get 3000. Now let us see one more example and in this we have to find the estimated difference of 5,673 and 436 to its nearest hundreds. Now for this, we will round off these numbers to the nearest hundreds. So we will start with the solution. And here on rounding off 5,673 to its nearest hundreds, we get 5,700. And on rounding off 436 to its nearest hundreds, we get 400. Now we have to find the estimated difference. So by taking the difference, it will be 5,000 300 and which is the estimated difference. Now let us see how to estimate the product. Now let us see an example. In this we have to find the estimated product of 578 and 61. Now for the estimated product we will round off each factor to the greatest place and then we will multiply the rounded off factors. Now taking this point in mind, we will start with the solution. Now, for 578, the greatest place is this, which is the hundreds place. So rounding of 578 to the nearest hundreds, we get 600. And for 61, the greatest place is the tens place. So rounding off 61 to the nearest tens, we get 
16. Now we have to find the estimated product. So we will multiply these two numbers. And on multiplying these two numbers, it will give 36,000, which is the estimated product. So in this session, we have learned about large number in details and estimation. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.